this video will show you how to import or transfer geometry from one project to another using libraries in ANSYS IcePack. In this example, I have a package and heatsink assembly which I want to import in another IcePack project which contains the chassis and other components. I can do this using libraries in IcePack. First, I need to create a new library for transferring the geometry by going to the library tab over here and then right click here to create a new library. A panel then pops up which shows you the already existing libraries and also gives you an option to create a new library over here. To specify the location of the new library, click on browse and specify the correct folder and a path. Here I choose the transfer folder in my D drive. Click on OK. Then I specify the library name, which is transfer. Then click on all projects. If you have administrator permissions to the C drive on your computer, you can ignore this warning and click on OK. You can now see that a new library called transfer is created in the libraries tree over here. To add the package and heatsink assembly to this library, right click on the assembly over here and then click on add to clipboard. Then go again to the library you just created, right click and click on paste from clipboard. A panel will pop up which will prompt you to specify the name of the geometry to be imported. In this case, I name it AGP. Then I click on save. Now I can see that the AGP heatsink and package assembly is added to the transfer library. To import this geometry in my other ice pack project, first I need to open the other ice pack project. I'll choose the model B over here, which is my project. Now, if I go to the library tab over here, I can see that my transfer library is already loaded. Then I expand the tree to choose my AGP heatsink assembly. Right click and hit load as object. Once I do this, I can see that my heatsink is imported in this file. The name AGP.1 in the model tree confirms that my heatsink and my package assembly have been successfully imported in this project. This concludes the video on using libraries in IcePack for importing your geometry from one IcePack project to another.